Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen. Y'all know I'm in the kitchen cooking up a nice quick meal. Today, as you guys can see, I got my water boiling over here. Let me go ahead and get my pasta in. Today, I'll be cooking shrimp alfredo. Um, Y'all know I've cooked it on the channel uh, quite a few times, but I'll be doing something a little different today. Uh, I've got the Mueller pot size spaghetti. This is my favorite. I like the pot size because usually when I get the long noodles, I have to break them. And I like my noodles short. So you should definitely try the pot size spaghetti. Alright, and let me get this open so we can go ahead and get these noodles in here. While my water is boiling. If I can get the noodles open. Calm down, water, calm down. Right, and I like dropping my pasta different ways so the pasta doesn't stick. So as soon as I drop it in, I mix it up. Okay, all right, let's cut that heat down a little bit. Let's get our pasta all loosened up so they're not sticking together. I dropped about a tablespoon of oil in there so that my pasta don't stick. Okay. All right, so we got that spaghetti in there. Cooking it up. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. So we got our pasta going over there. Okay, y'all saw the pasta. Let me show y'all the Alfredo sauce I'll be using. Uh, this is a new Alfredo pasta I've never used before. Publix had to buy one, get one. So, you know, <laughs> uh, that's all I needed. Uh, it is Gia Russa. Gia Russa. I don't know how you pronounce that, but um, I ain't had time to Google it. But it looks like Gia Russa. All right, anyway, it is a true Alfredo made with light cream, butter, and aged Parmigiano Reggiano cheese from Italy. Okay. Y'all see that? I'm going to bring it in close so y'all can read it yourself. From Italy. Produced in a green facility. Okay. We still going to eat it. So I have two jars of the Alfredo sauce. Alright. Let me show you guys the shrimp. Of course y'all know the shrimp have been marinating all night. I put a little um, <clears throat> a little Old Bay. Y'all know what I say about Old Bay. Because he an Old Bay. Child, I don't nobody want him no more. So y'all we got the big colossal shrimp today. I uh, got some Old Bay on there. Some Slap Your Mama. Uh, a little garlic. I got garlic chunks in there. And that's just been marinating overnight. Oh, look at all that goodness, y'all. I got to bring it in for the people. Yes. So, I've got my pan here. My Pioneer Woman dish already ready to go in the stove. I've got the oven preheated at 350 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and drop my shrimp in. So, I go ahead and get these in the oven so they can start cooking up. Just going to throw these in the oven so they can get all cooked real quick there y'all know it don't take long for shrimp so I'm just gonna go ahead and get these all spread it out even in our dish I'm gonna get that pasta mixed up in a minute but let me get these shrimps all flattened out in here oh they smell so good mm, 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 mm. marinating overnight so they done soaked in all that garlic I like my shrimp with the shell still on it so when I season it and I cook it the taste bakes into your shrimp your shrimp gets more flavor you know just because the shell holds the flavor in while it's cooking just my opinion all right so we got our shrimp all laid down let me see make sure everybody laid down ain't nobody on okay all right okay good 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 that looks good make sure everybody nice and flattened out in here okay all right, good, good, good. And you know they're going to shrink a little bit. But one thing I like about these shrimps, they don't really shrink up like that. They don't really shrink. The size they are, that's pretty much how they stay. So, and I'm going to show you guys. Today I'm going to be, um, I have the Oscar Mayer Thick Cut Bacon. I'm going to be cooking the bacon. Y'all don't need to see that. I'm just going to cook the bacon. And then, of course, I'm going to, you know, um, chop it up. And I'm gonna, I'll show you guys, of course, when I drop it in my uh, Alfredo uh, pasta 
noodles over there. So we're gonna add, now we're gonna keep the shrimp separate in this in this dish right here. But I'm going to, I'm gonna add the Alfredo to my pasta. I'm gonna uh, add the bacon pieces to the Alfredo. That bacon and shrimp together just gives it a whole nother level of flavor. So y'all gonna see me do that, but y'all ain't gonna see me cook the bacon. Y'all already know, so. That's what we're cooking today, uh, bacon shrimp Alfredo. That's what I'ma call it. And so, yeah. All right, so I got my pasta cooking over here. I'ma give that another quick stir. Let me get the shrimp in the oven so that can cook. And then I'll be back to show y'all. I think pretty much me putting, the shrimp should be done, but I'll be back y'all. Okay guys, I'm back getting ready to add my bacon. I got my bacon all cooked up, all chopped up. Look at that bacon. Oh my goodness. Okay, go ahead and add our bacon to the pasta. I'm gonna save a little bit of bacon for my plate for Instagram. All right, so we got the bacon all nice and chopped up in there. I'm gonna go ahead and get it all nice and mixed in with our pasta. Mmm, smells so good. The Alfredo and the bacon together. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's some goodness right there. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. Y'all see how it looks? It looks delicious. Let me take it out. Mm. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. The bacon in that Alfredo. Let me take y'all back there to the shrimp. Our shrimp is out of the oven. Y'all give me a second, let me move that shrimp up so you all can see it better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that shrimp. Oh nice and garlicky. I put a little bit of butter in there. Y'all can see it. That's it. We got the pasta with the bacon in it and the shrimp. Y'all see the thumbnail. I'm going to make a plate and make it the thumbnail for you all so you all can see how it looks. So, all right, y'all. That's a little quick, easy meal. That's the grand finale. Y'all see me do it so you know I did it. And I ain't forgot about that word of the day. Word of the day. Sometimes, I'm just telling y'all what God been doing with me on. Just, you know, I ain't talking to nobody. Just telling y'all what he been telling me. Sometimes you got to mind your own business. Mind your own business. Focus on what's going on in your life. I got enough going on over here. I ain't got time to be worried about what's going on in your house. Just tell you what God told me. So, I know. Mind your own business. That's what he told me. So, I'm just sharing it with y'all. I'm just sharing. All right. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.